class, there's always one joker who thinks that he's smarter than me. You may not make it through the program, but you got more heart and more character than you'll ever have. And stop eyeballing me, boy! To be a cancer survivor means freedom. I mean, it's absolute freedom that uh, it's the, the, the least of the worry. You don't have to worry as much. You can get on with the rest of your life. Uh, when you uh, have cancer, that's the pervading consciousness. And, 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 it, and it reflects everything you think and when, everything you do. And when you get over it, you have to do things to prevent it from happening again. But you have a chance to think about other people and other things. Well, I didn't know there was anything wrong with me. I was, I was good to go. He said, there's something wrong with you. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, we find uh, uh, we took a biopsy, and uh, the, the test came back after a biopsy. It was not just prostate cancer, but aggressive. So what happens in your mind when you're that age is, well, sure, maybe i got about six months, maybe i got a year, what, how much do I go? My thought process was angry. I was getting old, and then the actions matched, matched my thoughts. It became very self-destructive until you get this wake-up call, and then finally you kind of calm down when other doctors say, it's not a death sentence. So I went to, uh, to uh, Johns Hopkins with a good friend and he says, shh, calm down. Bethesda, shh, okay, all right, it was so early. And then I did radiation and that's, uh, that saved my life in, in seven or eight weeks. Now that's medicine. There's also God saying it's not your turn. It's, it's more than a physical disease. So I, I come with the, the idea that medicine's wonderful, Diet is wonderful, but that absolute spiritual contact about who is really in charge is primarily important. We put those three together, we take better care of ourselves. It was a tough decision for me to come out publicly, but I realized it was necessary. It segues really into uh, why I'm here speaking about uh, prostate cancer. And so it's not for, for money or fame. There's a pride in some of these men who don't want to get examined. Uh, but uh, they have a, a, a duty to be around, be, to be here now for some young people who need their input. So now maybe we're going to get a little army of, of uh, encouraging people to take better care of themselves.